Live look over downtown Spokane. Boy, this might be a good night to just stay indoors and uh, save your energy for New Year's Eve. Uh, and roads should be much better by then. Right now, they are a mess and will continue to deteriorate. Your forecast first for tonight, we still have more rain, snow, and freezing rain in the forecast. Winds are going to pick up tomorrow morning out of the southwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. It will stay breezy through tomorrow morning, and then winds will begin to die down. High tomorrow of 33 with a chance of some light snow. Shouldn't amount to much. Winds out of the southwest at 10 to 20 with gusts to 30 again in the morning. And then those winds will be dying down as the day goes on. It's 31 degrees right now in Spokane. Currently in Coeur d'Alene, it is 28. And those temperatures have been right there uh, on the line between rain and snow for most of the day. And we've seen just about everything in the area. Here's a look at our weather pattern and what is going on. We are just perfectly positioned into two very in between two very different air masses. We have an atmospheric river, subtropical moisture coming up. Typically that would mean rain for us. However, it is being greeted by bitterly cold Arctic air that's east of the Rockies for the most part. However, it's seeping through the Purcell Trench and the mountain passes and certainly is entrenched in the, uh, at least on a modified version, in the northern valleys. And Spokane is right on the dividing line between those two areas. And that is why we've seen every type of precipitation imaginable. Well, the cold air is going to be moving further to the east, but we are going to get more of a northwesterly flow that is eventually going to cool things down for the weekend and dry things out over the next 24 hours. We do still have a chance of some snow tomorrow, but look at our forecast starting off at our current time as we go through the next 24 hours, more rain, snow, and everything in between through tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. Then we're keeping it mostly in the mountains and then eventually drying out through the day on Saturday, setting the stage for a sunny New Year's Eve and possibly even a sunny uh, New Year's Day. In the meantime, we are still under wither, winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene until 7 o'clock tonight. Winter weather will continue through the overnight, however, even beyond when those uh, watches expire. The warnings continue for the mountain areas until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Lows tonight, boy, is this a moving target. In general, from I-90 south, you're going to stay above freezing. From I-90 north, you're going to stay below. High temperatures tomorrow in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And then things become a little more normal or common or easy to forecast there I'll be honest uh, as we get into Sunday and Monday I will not miss this particular storm um, and then we're into some sunshine on Sunday and Monday and uh, chilly overnight lows down in the teens and so I'm been very careful to s shovel or snow blow or sweep every flake that falls because once it does freeze that wet mess is going to be yeah. around for a while good advice i don't think anyone will miss this storm no it's been it's been interesting